So how have you guys seen this change over the years? You could, I suppose you could gauge a lot of it by the run itself. I mean, the massification yeah. people try to say, well, it's not as massified as people think. And, and I don't agree with that at all. I remember even in the 70s, until about the mid 80s, we could stand up at the top of the Estafeta Street, you know, the last long run up, and look at the bottom and you could see the bulls coming and how they were running and you could choose. You could pick and choose more or less where you wanted to go. Now it's simply a mass and I see the bulls well. Right, right there, perhaps. Neil, all you have to do is look at some of these photos later, which I just pointed out to you. In the photo behind you in 1971, Matt Carney, I got to you late one year, and I had to catch up to Matt. He was running in the middle of the street very casually, and I caught up to him. We started to talk, and if you look at that photo, you can see we're talking. The entire herd is coming behind us, and the street is almost empty. You can do that. That's when you could run No Boy Bravo. The, the crowds now make it really difficult even for any really great runner. There are some runners who can still run every day. I, I, I respect them. I don't think this now I could run the way I did. I have 300 photos on the horns. I sure. couldn't do it. It would be because impossible. Because I can't run. I'm not a brute runner. I was an obeyer. I used to run in and out of the bulls like that.